made this giant ass tower and I thought I was the shit because I'm like, dude, my tower touches the sky. All of us guys always wish that our tower would touch the sky. <laughs> YouTuber man made a pee pee joke. What is going on guys today? Minecraft tower map. I almost called it the maze map because the last Minecraft map I played was a maze map. Yet again, I said in my Minecraft maze that there's a shit ton of Minecraft maps. So I guess we're just going to see a Minecraft map every once in a while. And as always, if you enjoy any of my videos, please consider leaving a like subscribing. I'd really appreciate the support. And this first door is 4k. I don't know how I'm going to get 4k in here without dying. Actually, I should have let them in to get power ups. It's probably a smart idea, but I also kind of just want to hold them off as long as I can. It's an unlimited spawn, so it's not even like I can kind of like have cooldown time. So I kind of want to stay ahead of the spawns, but I'm also not getting power ups because I'm killing them outside. Yet again, another Minecraft map without like the square cloud skybox. I, it's such an oversight. I don't get it. Yeah, if you make a Minecraft Minecraft map, why not add the Minecraft Cloud Skybox? It can't be that hard. I don't know how to do it, but I also don't know how to do anything with maps. Oh wait, I forgot to turn the power on. So I should probably get QR before I forget. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. L car, oh my goodness. Oh, I am so set now. Can you die? Boys, I ain't got shit up here. I don't have anything. Yay, L car. Well, these rooms are so tight. Like if I get stuck in a room, um, I don't know if I can train out of it. How much does this next door call session now that I think about it? 5k. Oh, brother. Actually, I might as well just, yeah, buy double. And then I'll just kind of like camp out up here, you know, defend against this, is like my little attic. I'm just going to defend this. I guess there's not spawns up here. Actually, that makes sense because like, what are they going to do? Climb up ladders? Actually, you could just make spawns out there still. But I mean, realistically thinking, I know this is like a pretty common question and I have to think of my answer now, but I'm going to ask it now anyway. Because like I'm sitting here in this and I'm like, you know, this is kind of weird that I'm in a tower in the middle of nowhere, you know, just like aiming a gun at stairs trying to defend against zombies. But to ask the common question, like, do you have a plan or like, what would you do in the case of a zombie apocalypse? Like, how many of you have actually thought about that? I've not. And I don't really know. Because in those situations, you can't really trust people. So I'm not going to be like, yeah, my neighborhood and I are going to band together and create this badass fortress. Shit, what would I do? I mean, would it be smarter to live out in the country or live in like a town? I mean, I, I feel like it'd have to be the country. So I could go try to be like, hey, mom, let's defend this place as family because my mom still lives like out in the country. I don't know. Seriously, I, I, I seriously don't know what you could do. Like, oh, death machine. I want that. I have no ammo. Hold on, guys. Stop it. Hold on. Kind of want the death machine. Come on. Let me down. Fight for it. Fight for it. Fight for it. I don't know. I feel like if you could find a way to get food or just make food, which I mean, you kind of like have to do out in the country. I mean, yeah, you could do it in your yard, but like way easier out in the country. I feel like at that point, you just sit in your basement and aim a gun at the door. Like, I think that's all you can do. Okay. What? Is that an S cargo? That's the first weapon, like actual weapon I get handed is the ass cargo i am not conforming to that i shall not buy it wait look at me Ooh, can they hit me wait oh i thought i just found a way to break the game wait is it, is it only on that one side yeah it is but is it on this staircase too oh it is what the hell and 5500 okay Ooh, jug Ooh, cuda i want up there you know this building kind of reminds me of the first house i ever made minecraft well, not first house first building but i guess house i literally remember this and i was holy shit i don't even know how old like eight ten like something like that it was literally like this kinda but it was made out of dirt and i didn't understand the concept of torches it was literally like an eight by eight dirt tower that went to the sky limit didn't have torches so you know i didn't really understand the concept of you know mobs were gonna spawn so obviously that had its own problems yeah i literally just gathered ah, shit i don't know like an entire double chest full of dirt with like i had probably had a stone shovel i literally like probably spent that long made this giant ass tower and i thought i was the shit because i'm like dude my tower touches the sky all of us guys always wish that our tower would touch the sky <laughs> YouTuber man made a pee pee joke. No, but I think it's so funny that like the literal first building I ever made in Minecraft was just like that ingrained in my head. It was like just a dirt tower. Kind of wish there were more spawns like as you go up because that'd make it a lot harder. Was this like 6,000? Yeah. What's up here? Huh. No. No. Wait, is that the MX9? Yo, four. What? What's BO4 weapon doing in here? Hell, I don't know. I mean, I'm fine with BO4 weapons, but the entire map should be BO4 weapons because why would I buy this or the that when I have CUDA? Wait, I kind of forgot. There's an S cargo. I literally made fun of the S cargo earlier. That's BO4. Why didn't I kind of like think about that? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, I'm almost out of ammo. Ugh. Oh, I didn't want the nuke. Yo, now that I have a death machine, I'm gonna go defend the land at the bottom. Why can't I break the window? Come on. 
You know, there's so many Minecraft maps that I think I'm just going to have a Minecraft map probably every few weeks because I kind of just pick out random maps to play and that's what I end up just doing and I mean oh well because I'm going to make so many videos over so many random maps that like of course Minecraft's going to make a common appearance but yeah there's just so many of them. I, it's just seriously the most common theme of custom maps because a lot of custom maps are based off of like things that are in COD Zombies and I think Minecraft's probably the most popular game of all time. Is it? I, I feel like it has to be right? Oh. I just knocked him in the head to get the double points. Yeah, that's why it's like the most common theme. And I mean, it makes a lot of sense when you think about it. Like everyone's heard of Minecraft. Everyone's played Minecraft. Well, basically everyone's played Minecraft. I mean, who really like hasn't? Even people who don't play games at some point usually have played Minecraft. I mean, I'm talking in this generation. Oh, the mystery box is up there. Ooh, what's in there? I don't know. It's a mystery. A mix of BO3 and BO4 weapons. I am being bullied in my Minecraft tower. You know how long it took me to build this thing? I built it just for this video. I went out with my enchanted netherite axe. Holy shit, he just like ran behind me. Uh, ooh, oh no, that was the Kuda. I thought it was one up. No, uh, I'm gonna get the MX9 even though I memed on it. Shame, pure shame. Oh, now I get stuff. Oh, now I get all the power ups. Look at that. Uh, let me down. Let me, let me down. I gotta come in here and get it. At full advantage of this death machine. We've got to stop them at the core where they spawn. Ooh, someone in one of my comment sections the other day mentioned Left 4 Dead. Or not, no, it wasn't my comment section. It was my Discord. Shit, I mixed up the two. I forgot we talked about this in my Discord. But yeah, they asked me if I ever played Left 4 Dead. And hell yeah, I played a bit of one, but I played two for years like actual years i loved left for dead too it's such a good game dude i my friend would come over i, I miss the game so much man because my friend would come over we'd play it i'd play it by myself a lot oh actually i can tell a really good memory now that i think about it the first like funny memory is uh, young me didn't understand the concept of don't shoot the witches so you know like i'm this little kid who's not great at games and like i hardly understood what was going on and every time i saw a witch i'm like oh it's that thing that kills me every time shoot it um those of you who play Life or Dead, you, you know that's not how it goes. You kind of leave the witch alone. You kind of get away from it. You don't bother it. Nah, I wanted all that smoke from the witch. But the second really funny memory I have was like probably the wildest like memory I have of probably like younger video game years. Like a lot of wild shit's happened, but I don't remember anything being this wild. If you guys remember Left 4 Dead 2 pretty well, do you guys remember the hotel? Like that one beginning campaign mission on the hotel where you spawn up top and you go down a little roof escape and then you go into the hotel. You know, you eventually run, oh, blah, 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 I'm about to die. Wait, hold on, I want that. I want that, but I'm red screen. I want to fight for it when I'm red. Okay, go, 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 go. Die. God, my weapons suck. I need to go get the box. Holy shit. But yeah, that um actual like hotel. So my friend and I went into it, obviously. L4 Siege. Okay, here we go. Hold on. So we went in, and I was, like, running on the edge. Ooh, little Arnie. Wait. Oh, I just took my weapon. Oh, can I get up top? Can I get up top? I can get up top. Fight. Fight. Arnie, 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 Arnie. Okay. Uh, sure. Just pack the Kuda. Why not? Now I have nothing. Oh, I have a knife, apparently, but I have no weapon. Wait, is that gold? Ooh. Ooh, gold. Wait, where's the ending before I keep talking? Uh, 70k. Oh, God, I gotta get exact change on here. Oh, brother. Bro Die! Yeah, we went in that first hallway, and we kind of, like, ran down to the edge of it. And I went into one of those side rooms that you loot. And I remember I looked out the window. It was, like, on one of those ledges. And I looked down, and, like, we played this mission before. Well, actually, I just thought of another memory, too. Okay, we played this mission before, so we knew what we did. You know, you eventually go down. You go into that, like, elevator. Everything's on fire. You go through there. Run through that, like, bottom area, like, the lobby area. If you know what I'm talking about now, because this is what's important, is that lobby area. You run through there, you know, run all the way down it, run in the safe room. Well, I looked down, and I saw these giant pieces of glass like it was like this little building at the bottom with giant pieces of glass and i go isn't that that like safe room area the lobby thing like the hotel lobby he was like yeah and i was like look at those windows right there and he was like okay what about it and i was like you think i can go through there he was like dude there's no way you can do that and i'm like i don't know man because it was a far jump and obviously you're gonna die like i mean you're not gonna expect to live that fall so i'm looking at it and i'm contemplating jumping and then i go and like i'm about to jump and like yet again I don't think you can actually make it. But as I jump, a charger came behind me and bolted me off the edge as I jumped. So I fell and I fell through the glass at the bottom. And you know, I didn't die. I was just down and you know it's like oh shit i'm down i'm not dead though and like i look to my right like i like kind of pan my camera once i'm laying there and i see the safe room like 200 feet from me or something like i can see the door but i'm like oh shit i'm down and like there's no way you're gonna get to me dude and i was like i that was funny but shit but here's what's funny is that 
since I was down so far away, the bots, because, you know, I always played as Ellis, and I think he always played as Coach, so then Rochelle and Nick, they teleported across the map and revived me, and then all three of us ran into the safe room, and my friend's at the top of the hotel, and he's alone now because all three of us are just huddled in the safe room and like there's nothing we can do it was so funny dude because i was just like do you think i could make that and he's like yeah there's no way and then yeah uh I, no no oh no oh no oh no i'm sorry no, i won't ever talk bad about who's who again Ugh. that was actually funny he had to play like the entire mission by himself i think he ended up like dying i actually don't remember how it ended but i remember that moment because it was just absolutely hilarious and then another one that i remember is the um this might even be the same like campaign but it's you know one of the later missions and it's with the same friend but it's the one with the mall where you have to like get the gas canisters and actually like refill it like in that mall area right refill that car that's in the mall if you know a lot about left 4 dead 2 you know what i'm talking about but i remember i was filling up a gas canister into the car and my friend's like up top somewhere he's on like one of the little like i don't know not balconies but you know yeah kind of balcony oh there we go death machine cool okay it's 70k right i need to try to get exact change but this is gonna be hard to get exact change on of course a nuke every time i get a death machine dude damn it yeah but he was up top like i think trying to get one of the gas canisters and he was on one of the balconies and i'm like you know down at the bottom bottom and then i hear one of the other characters yell it's a tank. You know those big ass tank zombies who scary as shit. And I go, oh shit, there's a tank. And I look to my left, look to my right, I don't see it. And I go, is the tank on you? So I look up at him. And like I said, I'm on the complete bottom right now. So I look up and I see him on the balcony. The tank's right behind him and he doesn't know. And I'm just about to tell him it's behind him. And he turns around and sees it like two feet from him and screams at like the top of his lungs. And the tank like smacked the shit out of him. And he went flying off the balcony and like seriously went flying halfway across the map and landed like two stories down it was just so funny because i went to go tell him there was the tank and then there's a scream and i watched his character get absolutely punted like a football definitely those are the two left for dead two memories that just stick out to me like no other it was such a good game and i ended up buying back for blood a couple months ago it's made by like some of the same people and it's like the same type of game but if you play back for blood let me know what you think about it fell flat was not it man it just felt like i don't know like a weird version of left for dead 2 and i just didn't like it maybe since i'm older i just don't enjoy the game as much because I have tried to go back and play Left 4 Dead 2 and it just wasn't fun. But Back 4 Blood just really didn't feel like it was it, man. Every time I get a death machine or I throw an Arnie, okay, at least the death machine now I can grab it afterwards. I keep getting these inconvenient nukes. I didn't play much Left 4 Dead 1. I played a bit. I really just spent the majority of my Left 4 Dead time on Left 4 Dead 2. It's honestly, if I were to go back and rank all my childhood games that I played, it's definitely up there. By the way, this is getting a little tricky because it is round 27, so obviously they are holding a good chunk of health. I still still need like 25k holy shit dude because like look they just eat the cuda shots look at this just eating oh my god they're just eating okay, arnie 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 get through there get through there get down nice i'm just gonna try to knife and get a bunch of points it's actually working kind of well i don't know how much longer i can hold it off for but i just don't want to be on this map anymore because it's kind of getting tricky it's almost round 30 just thought of a really good strategy what if i sit here and keep shooting and then electric chairing so it stuns them into a pack come on just keep just keep stunning the pack Oh, uh, it was working for a while. I got a lot of points off that. I don't want to throw an Arnie because I don't want to go over. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Stay out of here. Stay out of here. Stay out of here. I need that. I need that. I need that. Let me get that. Let me get that. Wait, I don't have double tap. This thing's going to suck, isn't it? Oh, no, boys. I don't know if exact change is going to happen. Oh, no, boys. I don't know if it's going to happen. Oh, I'm 40 over. Give me a nuke and I can make it happen. Throw, 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 throw. Give me, I don't know, I'm not gonna have QR. Jug, speed. I need to burn, hmm, I need to get 74,500 and then buy Kuda ammo. That's honestly the option. I don't have double, that's what it was. I couldn't think of the name. I'm gonna make this work. 100? Hold on, just get 10 knives on the way up. Six more. Don't die, don't die, don't die doing that. Don't die doing that, I don't have QR. 70k, 70k, 70k. Yes, look at that shit. Exact change gamer over here, man. All right, but thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider leaving a like, subscribe, and I appreciate the support, and I'll catch you in the next one.